The inner transversi is a group of small muscles that connect at the top and bottom of each cervical vertebrae. They work together to hold the head up and also allow for function of other muscles. The intertransversi muscles, located here along the side of the neck, support the head and neck, allowing for the movement of other muscles. The pectoralis major muscle connects the clavicle and the sternum and helps rotate the humerus inward. The pectoralis major muscle is located here along the sternum, as shown previously. This aids in the flexing of the humerus and flapping of the wing. The sartorius functions as an important flexor and rotator of the thigh and the hip joint. The sartorius muscle arises from the anterior superior iliac spine on the lateral edge of the hip bone. The sartorius muscle, located here, allows for the flexing of the hip joint, thus aiding in movement of the leg in running and jumping. The patagialis longus muscle is located on the inner part of the wing. It originates at the start of the humerus and extends all the way through to the carpometacarpus. This muscle aids in the flexing of the elbow and movement of the wing. Patagialis muscle running the length of the humerus aids in the flexing of the wing and elbow. The iliotrochantericus cranialis muscle connects the ilium to the femur and is active during the ostrich's stride cycle while running. The iliotrochantericus cranialis muscle can be shown here, aiding in the flexing of the leg for running, jumping, and walking. The extensor digitorum longus muscle is located in the front of the leg. It runs through the entire bottom half of the leg, starting at the top of the tarsometatarsus and ending at the last phalanx of each of the digits. This muscle allows the chicken or ostrich to flex its toes and ankle. The extensor digitorum longus muscle running alongside the tarsometatarsus in the foot allows for the flexing of the ankle and digits. This aids in running, jumping, and walking. The cloacal sphincter is a ring of muscles surrounding and serving to guard the closing and opening of the anus of an avian. It is located at the end of the rectum. The cloacal sphincter is actually comprised of three specific components. Fun fact, birds do not have the same kind of muscled sphincter as humans do.